Good afternoon, Lakers. I hope you are doing fabulous today. I wanted to take a moment and spend a little time with you this afternoon just to go over um, some of the safety protocols that I know many of you have been asking about. Um, and then I also want to encourage you to visit our website um, where we have a link for a full document um, that includes tons of helpful information for you um, from additional safety protocols that we have put in place procedures and, and processes for how we're going to handle quarantines and isolations, as well as links for other various resources that I think would be helpful for you as a parent. I wanna let you know that these safety protocols are subject to change at any time. I do humbly ask for your flexibility and your patience as we continue to navigate this pandemic together. Let's talk about some of the safety protocols that I know many of you have questions about. Let's talk first about mask. The Ottawa County Health Department is recommending that when we're in all indoor facilities, that we mask. The key word here is recommending. That means that each staff member, each student, each family has the choice currently on whether or not you would like to mask. Now, when it comes to buses and vans here at school, whether that's uh, bringing students to school or transporting to athletic events, masks are, are mandatory in those settings. I ask that everyone be respectful of each other's choices as it pertains to masking. Social distancing. We're gonna do our best to social distance students in the classroom. However, we are bringing our students back together in settings such as assemblies or uh, the cafeteria or moving about in the hallway. Um, but we do recognize that when and all possible, we will do our best to social distance students while in the classroom. Hand washing and hand sanitizing, super important. It reduces the spread of common colds and flus as well as COVID. So we will really continue to encourage our students to hand wash and will provide hand sanitation for them um, so that that's readily available to them. We will continue to offer a high level of cleaning. We're so lucky. We have amazing custodians that work day and night to keep our buildings clean. And so we're going to continue to be committed to a clean building and specific to those high surface touch areas. Again, I encourage you to visit our website, take a look at our document, take a look at the links and resources that I've put in there that will be helpful for you. And again, all of this is subject to change as we continue to navigate this pandemic together. I look forward to seeing you and having you back in the building on Open House, which will be Monday, August 30th from five to seven. And then I can't wait to welcome you with open arms back to school on Wednesday, September 1st. As always, if you have questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me by email or on my school phone. I would love to have the opportunity to talk to you. Until then, have a wonderful rest of the summer and I can't wait to see you soon.